guys and welcome to my channel. Um, this is a first for me, so it's it's different. Uh, I'm mostly going to be doing games and toys and other stuff like that. Like, yeah, I, I'm, I'm a toy collector and I'm a gamer, so I want to do something along them lines. Uh, just a quick introduction to me. Um, what I'm doing today is I'm going to show my toy room. Uh, it's a proper mess, so I do apologise. In the process of sorting it out, um, but yeah, and I'll set them a lot, and I'm probably going to swear at some point, I do apologise, but yeah, can't help it, it's where I'm from, it's where I am. So, with all that in mind, uh, I mean, like you can see a bit behind me here, um, I say I do game as well, so there's a lot of crossover on gaming and collecting and things, and I, that's a prime example of it, um, I'll show you around my little room, and... I'm going to have to stick some stuff on because I've got bits scattered around the house and there's some artwork and stuff I want to show and all that sort of fun stuff. But I'm going to try and repeat and try and upload more often and yeah, go from that. I mean, like I do conventions and stuff like that just to, uh, so anybody who knows me know that you know I, I am out in the wild as such and um, yeah, it's what, why I'm wearing my hat because my hat's, my hair's wank. And it's grey, and people who see me, who see me wearing a hat on, oh yeah, my hat, but I'm virtually always in a hat. So, yeah, so yeah, that I will be going in there. So, starting from outside of my room, I've got Power Ranger Morpher, uh, which is a gift from my brother. A lot of my stuff's gifts from my brother. Yeah, he, uh, he's heavily influenced all the stuff I collect and paid for most of it, to be fair. Uh, got a little cabinet with. Uh, Mirror's Edge Collector's Edition and uh, Flame Toys, Nemesis Prime, uh, Shattered Glass Prime, Doom from Collector's Edition, some Warhammer stuff because everybody should have Warhammer stuff, uh, Zoids, Thunder Clash, one of my brother's favourite Transformers, so having one of them is quite nice, he paid for that as well. Gundams, which is uh, a weird one for me because it's what I used to do when I was a kid, we used to build them, we used to go to shop and just, it was just something me and my brother did together. Um, and yeah, now onto the main room. So in here, it's 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 a mess. It's a bit strange for this stuff up floor. I'll do a quick, ooh, round and round and round you go. Um, yeah, I'll start with where we landed. So this is my computer desk with somebody else's keyboard and mouse, which I do need to return to him. He did tell me he needed it back. Uh, I don't really use my computer that much. I've got a drawing pad and stuff there. I don't, I haven't really got time. If I've not got time to do this, I ain't got time to do other stuff as well. Uh, pop vinyls, I know they're a, a staple of collecting now really, not everybody likes them, but I've got certain ones I like and my partner likes. Um, I've got more gaming orientated pop vinyls, they've yeah, got DC and Groot, because they like Groot. Um, yeah, uh, over here we have my Marvel shelf, which is predominantly Spider-Man because it's Marvel and Spider-Man is Marvel as far as I'm concerned. Um, then we've got like a random figures. I've got some spawn figures from little blind boxes from about 15 years ago, if not longer. Uh, a big spawn figure, a uh, violator, because, you know. Um, some dot act figures, which was, I, I had to get in a trade from uh, the, the guy who, I, who owns the keyboard, actually. Um, and then, weirdly, a Celtic Guardian from... Yu-Gi-Oh, you just see Deadpool's feet down there because he's fell off at top of the shelf. Uh, and then Dragon Ball and a couple of Beast Wars figures, but mostly Dragon Ball. So, I'm editing that video thing, which you're watching if you're seeing this anyway. Uh, I said Beast Wars instead of Teen Titans Go because I had Beast Boy in my head and I'm not making no excuses. I cocked up. And then the router at the front. And I've just kicked something. Um, and a crosser dog. Or a cyan dog, depending on which version it is you, you think it is. Um, Metabots. So, now that I've seen that, we go down here. Um, so I'll, I'll bend him down and it, it's a lot of work. I'm getting old, in it? Um, we've got Mega Block stuff. So, I like Halo. I like gaming and stuff. And building. I'm quite handsy. Handsy. Um, yeah, so I've got a Pelican. Mantis. Can't remember that one. I know it's not a Wolverine because that's down at the bottom. What a little tanks though. I've got a scorpion, uh bike, dropship, wolverine, 
a random blue ranger figure which is fell off at top shelf and bounced so i'll grab that uh i have a rule that if a figure falls more than like three times it stays on the floor or it gets put in a box i don't put it on shelf no more because it's too much hassle and then we've got a few more mega box things again i think a lot of this were gifted to me uh the red water definitely were and the i don't know what the the covenant vehicle is they were all gifts and birthday presents and things uh vulture which weren't a gift which i wish you are because it's expensive uh a couple of oh i need to stop kicking that a couple of spartans um i think i've had them since halo 2 come out and then some of the reach figures which i really like detail on them's bang on like everything about them is good and we've got a uh, broadsword warthog and the first mega block thing I actually got my dad bought it me me and my elder brother same one um can't remember what it's called though so nope that's not going nowhere um and my favorite shelf i, I believe yeah yeah 100 my favorite shelf it's just full of all the random little bits and bobs which i like a massive sonic fan um especially me metal sonic even though that one looks dramatic captain planet from when i was a kid Trigun, which goes back to when I was a kid, uh, there were two kids, out, two two lads group we, and one of them really got me into Trigun, he brought me a DVD back uh, when he'd been over to China, that's how I got into Trigun, and the two little, I think the Mech Warriors, the built ones, they were gifts from my other Chinese friend, who I've not spoken to in a very long time, but I've had them since I was about 13, which is that far away it's not worth going into. Kirby's, Sonic, Toothless, Digimon, Gengar, favourite Pokemon, um, from Zoids, Bucky Away, you know, I grew up in that sort of time, Evil Jack, Rex and Ace, and more Sonic stuff, and Tails, which I don't like Tails as a rule, but, you know, it is what it is. And then on top, I have uh, another shelf which I barely paid for. Cayman Riders and Mass Rider, along with Power Rangers. Um, it's mostly just men in suits, fundamentally. Uh, and my giant Medibee. I like Medibots. It's massively underrated and disappeared, I think. Um, bit of a shit. That's what I keep kicking, by the way. So yeah, It's got weapons and stuff for Cayman Riders in. I bought them as a big bulk, and uh, I couldn't remember which... Which what? Which you do what? I couldn't remember who they belonged to when I, didn't, when I just put them on random people. They all look... Look good as this stood, plus it makes it a lot harder to get more on a shelf when I'm faffing about with it. So that's part of shelving. I'm going to miss middle section because that's got um, uh, Masterpiece Transformers and stuff and I want to come to them in a bit more detail anyway. Um, yeah, we'll go to the other side of the room because it's like say, done. That, that's done, done. Counter's going to be the last thing. I, I like my counter. Uh, so we've just got that left to do um i'm not sure which side to start on with yeah mostly transformers virtually all transformers um it, you, you'll see so transformers prime possibly the best transformers series ever made um i'll argue that with anybody i'm a big rid fan as well it's around when i grew up in 2001 it's come out and i like that it's i like anime and stuff so it fits in more with that but most of this is prime especially these top four shelves uh so there's a, quite a bit there uh weirdly the shorts called megatrons one of the only megatrons i own i don't have a lot of megatrons um same with soundwave I, I think the only soundwave i've got is the prime one and it's not even a proper soundwave if you're a g1 g1 eh? um yeah oh well not going to that that's a it's a shit storm uh but yeah still transformers prime it's almost a complete collection it's not complete because i know there's a few bits missing somebody will point out uh some generation stuff bits uh, bits and bobs uh mixed up stuff like the rid megatron and um rid expert uh I, I picked up cheap we're going to conventions and stuff with some other people and there's always so much cheap to be had and i like cheap or free free is better cheap's all right though uh so we've got a mix of different figures along the bottom of what I've just bought over the years or what's been given to me. And uh, I'm going to point RC out um, for my brother because 
It's an inside joke. I like explain sometime, but that's that for now. Uh, we've got combined all stuff, which I think is massively underrated because it weren't exactly like G1 wanted to be. And I've got this thing about G1, just people want, wanting it to be G1 all the time. I quite like them. Um, trigger app is worth pointing out because that was a random gift from a guy. I say a guy, he's a friend who I'd not seen in about six, seven years. Uh, we went out for some food and he just turned up with that one day, which he'd bought from a charity shop, which is nice. Uh, random movie bots. I'm not a fan of movie bots, to be honest. Uh, except that jazz. The jazz is properly bang on. Um, and just other bits and bobs. And that's it for Transformers on there. So up here we've got Starlink, which was a massive flopper of game. Uh, I mean, like the R Wing's worth it just for just for having that. Uh, I've got another ship down there as well, but there's no. Whoop! Oh, that zoom does work. Whoop! But there's no space for it. They, they come with flight stands and they're quite hard to get hold and stands without buying another game, which I've bought the game three times. So I don't want to buy another game. Uh, going from there, as you see, I've got my mess, which I'm sorting through at some point today. Hopefully, I think. I might do. I might not. I ain't decided. I probably should. Uh, not that you'll notice because the camera's the wrong way. I took my hat off because it's red out in my it's a uh, loft room and it's quite a warm day where I am. So next time it comes around, I might have my grey hair out and I do apologise. It is traumatic for kids. We've got Guy Lamont, an helicopter from Gears of War, uh, Mega Lucario. So more Gears of War little figures which come with uh, some I've got downstairs actually. I've not sorted that out yet though. Pokemon, my other love, my other thing which gets me tormented. One of the reasons I wore. I mean, like, I'm massively into anime and stuff. Pokemon's a big part of that, and anybody who's into anime and says they don't like Pokemon is talking shite. Um, especially if they're my age, because it'll be the only thing they could have watched on terrestrial telly and shit when they were younger. And Yeah, Pokemon's always been around, as far as I'm concerned, anyway. And we've got Digimon in background, which I think is equally as good. I like uh, monster things and collecting things, so... Uh, some original Pokemon figures. We know they're... I can't remember who makes them. It's stacked up bottom, though. Uh, and Yokai Watch, which I think is hilarious. Jim Banyan is one of the my favourite characters in anything. I think he's an hilarious little kitty. Uh, and up bottom, we've got Fallen Over. Uh, some Final Fantasy... Brain's gone dead. 12. 12 figures. Uh, some Biker Mice, because I was massively into Biker Mice as a kid. Fun fact, first sticker book I, I finished was a Biker Mice one. The only sticker book I've ever finished, Bike Mice one. And some Kingdom Hearts stuff. Um I I don't I don't really get on with the Kingdom Hearts games. I, I I I like JRPGs and stuff like that, but there's something about Kingdom Hearts which I struggle with and I don't know what it is. I don't know whether it's the art style, whether it's the repetitive bash the square button thing, which I don't really like. Um which is weird because we play a lot of fighting games. Or or what, but I've always struggled with my good three ago. And I think I played it for about two hours, three hours, and I just thought, you know what, that's... Meh. That's enough of that. So, moving along. Um, Skylanders. Uh, that count as a guilty pleasure. I mean, I listen to Kyle and me know that's a guilty pleasure. I think Skylanders falls into the same category. So, we've got um, arranged by type. Yeah, type the right word. Element. Arranged by element. And we have all of G1, all of... Giants, so G1 Spyro Adventures, Giants, um, I mean, I've got, a lot, a lot of, I've got all the big Swap Force characters, all the giant characters, I believe, now. Nah. Pick them up when I see them, even if I've got one. Uh, just lots, just lots and lots and lots of Skylanders. I mean, like, for me, I think it's a very good game. It plays like an old school platformer, like Spyro's and uh, Ray Rayman, when Rayman went 3D. It's that sort of feel for me. There's no fear of death. There's no fear of losing out. There's no... You fall off a cliff and that's that. It's it's a good, fun game to play. Yes, it's for kids. I do not care. Um, and over here is just random mess, which I'm going through. I've got some old Transformer comics, um, which I'm not the biggest fan of. They're probably going to go away or to somebody or something along the lines. A box of boxes. Part of the Marvel chess set, because I've got half of that and I never finished it. Uh, down here, I've got some Beast Wars figures. I I, I, I don't like Beast Wars. I'll, I'll say it. I don't, I don't, I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. Um, 
My mate's really into it, it was his favourite series. Uh, I just never got on with it. The CGI gave me a headache when I was younger. I never went back to it. My brother likes it, he says it's really good if you go back and watch it. It's got a good story, it's got a good arcs, blah, blah, blah. What I will say is that it has got amazing figures. Like, as a, as a figure collector, the Beast Wars figures, um, I bang up. Like, some of the stuff on them is really, really good. I've got Polar Claw in there, which I really like, and a couple of Optimal Optimuses and I want Megatron on the floor there. Whoa, dead in with my hat. Uh, unalived, that's what he's done. Yeah. So, back to explaining the mess. Uh, I've got a load of Marvel figures. Now, these I uh, I acquired in a massive lot and I've been through the box a few times. I keep saying I'm going to go through it and sort it out. I get halfway through and then I, I, I start playing with stuff and I get lost. Uh, I've got Donkey Kong car because I was collecting these and there was one of them I couldn't find and it annoyed me and then my kid niece she opened one of the cars I think it was Space Channel 5 one and then I just stopped I like that with that uh, also I've got yeah I've got some artwork which was drawn for me by a friend who I've not spoke to in a very long time uh, she's an amazing artist she's from Hawaii and yeah it's really really good so good shout out to her uh, Pokemon cards because, like I said, Pokemon's a massive part of my childhood. And there's stuff in there. All G1, original. You know, YouTubers wear it around the neck to fight in sort of um, cards. As well as, like, some Japanese ones, some dark ones, some rocket ones. I think I've got some later ones towards the back. Energy cards, because you can never have enough energy cards. Uh, duplicates. Uh, just, like... Sable Eye, just random bits and bobs. Just nice little cards. Um, that's not the extent of my collection. The extent of my collection's turns your stomach kind of thing. It, it is, there's a lot. Uh, random box of legend size Transformers. Kinder Egg toys and McDonald's toys. Uh, da -da -da -da, empty box. Oh, that one's not empty. That's got some weight in it. Let's have a butchers. Marvel chess pieces. Uh, did it, did a random certificate in the way, so I moved that out of the way. Um, it's got my full name, and I don't care about stuff like that. But random cycling certificate I did for a charity bike ride for Bluebell Woods, um, like thirty-five k, some stuff like that. I got a little medal, nice, and more Marvel chess pieces. Sure, really, really, really nice. I just have no way of displaying them. Don't know how to display them. I ain't got a full set, so it's annoying. Yeah, um, free PS twos because why not? Uh, more legend size Transformers and one of my most recent and favourite purchases um, not that by the way, that was from a charity shop Star Wars pinball, don't like Star Wars I know poor far some Mariner and a Gargoyle, which I do like is my Machine Drummer now this, I absolutely love it, it's a figureized one and it's possibly my one of my favourite things in my collection it's hard to say favourite thing because I've got a lot in my collection uh, yeah Absolutely amazing. It's a big old bugger and all, which is always nice. And in here, we've got random car stickers, uh, black and white for PC because old school gaming. And that's about it for there. Uh, right, so that's most of the shelves, I believe. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much everything. The only thing I would love to show you is my shop counter and its, its surroundings. <laughs> It's, um, there's quite a lot on there, so I'm um, trying to go through it quite quick as well, because I've got quite a lot to say, and I don't really have a lot to say. I do feel like I'm rambling, but it's a lot, and I'll go into it all in more detail at some point if you want, and we'll, we'll go from that and see how that goes. Yeah, so we'll start up here, Skylanders, again, because why only have them on a shelf when you can keep them boxed? Uh, bad mentality over anything. Round the back of my shop counter, so, oh yeah. My shop counter is, it's literally a shop counter. I bought it from a charity shop. It was an X display thing for displaying jewellery and stuff. So that's what that's, that is. Around the back, I've got boxes. All of them are empty boxes. Um, Harvest Moon Collector's Edition. That's a, oh, stay. That's a full box. Um, Halo Reach. That's full. That's got everything in it. Same way the Demon X Machina. Uh, the rest of it's empty though, I believe. Hmm, possibly. And a couple more Skylanders on the back. Uh, I, I keep boxes. I get told off for it. It's my stick for closing me blind because it's 
I'm short, that's tall. That's what the stick's for. Um, more Skylander stuff, little bits and bobs. Jean-Paul Gaultier, not mine, but you know, you've got to smell good, I suppose. Uh, another Transformer, one of my favourite ones. It's um, a bloody knockout. My brother worked back from America for me. Uh, I've got a lot of knockouts on my shelf. Oh, I didn't show you other Transformer shelf, never mind. I'll get back to that. So I've got Fallout 76 Power Armor. This is 100% complete. I've not even took the game out because the game's naff. It had really bad reviews. I figured I'll keep it all together. A uh, weird story, I had some curtains fitted in a place I used to work. I used to live where I worked. And uh, one of the guys was a massive Fallout fan and he did a full-on barrel roll across my bed wearing the Power Armor helmet because... He wanted to do it. Took a picture and sent it to his wife. <sighs> People's got to live the dreams. Uh, Marvel chessboard. Uh, base for Deadpool. Some Wii games. And by right, look of it, some DS games. It bottom and PS1 games and stuff like that. Uh, which side? That one. Oh, there's a lot of glare. There's a lot of me in that. Um, so, we've got Joker Amiibo. Bigger uh, Persona fan. Persona, Persona 5 Royal, collector's edition, uh, with mask, and it, it come with a few bits and bobs which are in box. Catherine, made by Atlas again, same as Persona. Uh, comes with a sheep, I mean, like, why anybody wouldn't want a stuffed sheep? No, Ram. I don't know, it's pretty good. Uh, Just Cause, weird, another one. I've never played Just Cause games. I saw the collector's edition sheep, picked it up, and, yeah, that, that's why that's there. Here we've got Naruto. Um, weirdly, it's for Xbox One. Bought it for Xbox One before I had an Xbox One. I just bought it. I, I, I'm a big Naruto fan up to a certain point, and ate it with even I, I bought it. That's just how that works. Need Speed Heat Collector's Edition with a little car and a boom, 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 and with one of the really, a really, really nice steel case. It's hard to get um, to show how nice it actually is because of reflection, but yeah. Uh, Tekken Collector's Edition statue, um, box behind it. It was, I bought it rather cheap from somebody, and yeah, I wanted it when it came out, but I couldn't afford it at the time. Zangief, and yeah, it's one of my favorite things. Like, the detail on it is stunning. Ayachi is Ayachi, so he's you know, he's an old man with gray hair. I can appreciate that. Uh, at the back, we've got Vaughn, um. I've got a, a loose one. Oh, I can see myself. A loose one behind me as well. Um, I've got a box one there as well. I, um, my favourite thing in my collection. It's a little bit of a cliche for a, a JRPG player and stuff because, you know, everyone loves Cloud. Um, Cloud from the remake. It's um, Soldier First Class Edition Cloud. And it is uncompromisingly blah, 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 stunning. Uh, I absolutely love it. I played with it for five minutes before realising if I break it, I'm going to cry. The sword's a bit flimsy from what I remember. It didn't fit in his hand very well. But it's absolutely stunning. It's favourite thing I own. Uh, yeah, moving on to weird and favourites. We have Destroy All Humans, which is one of the funniest collector editions I have. <laughs> Quite nice, floating cow. Uh, if you've not played Destroy All Humans, it's definitely worth playing. It's It feels dated now, but it, it's funny. Uh, it comes with a little squidgy thing and a pain. Some lithographs. Um, again, not a Star Wars fan, but Boba Fett helmet, General Grievous head. They, they're cool little things. I like robots and guys in suits, you know, guys in suits. So that's quite good. Uh, I've got Division Collector's Edition at back there. That's got, it come with like a shockproof watch and stuff. It's really, really good. One of the first collector's editions I bought as a as a full-grown adult. We'll go with that. Uh, Pokemon Collector's Edition, which I nearly didn't get because I had my pre-order messed up and I had to chase around and it took a lot of getting. Uh, it, it were a nightmare. So, yeah, it, give me an headache doing that. Got the game cases, the steel ones as well as little statues which um this sword and shield one come with the sun and moon ones come with the uh the two little statues as well uh steel bookcases no games in them got bioshock and uh fallout 4 one because they were loads of fallout 4 memorabilia is that the right word uh, yeah well, 
we'll go with that, it's fine. Uh, over here we have some Forza Horizon Lego cars. Uh, it stresses me out the fact I can't get the Bugatti because it was discontinued and the little dinosaur from, if you played Forza Horizon 4, there's a Lego expansion, you, there's one of them which you, you build as part of the thing and yeah, that's that. Uh, and my other love is Japanese early 90s to early 90s to 2000 cars. Initial D, um, massively into manga. Uh, one of my friends really got me into it when I was younger, like manga and anime. Um, which I've not even shown you yet. Uh, I, I love it. Like the the train I spent eighty six favorite car. It's proper. Yeah, I, I don't really know how to explain it, but it, it's something I've I've enjoyed since I was a kid. I'm massively into cars and racing and things like that. So it, it's a big one for me. Um, let's spin around. Oh, yeah, here, standing up again. Makes me nauseous. Over here we have Bumblebee. Dead Prime, Shattered Glass Prime, and Shattered Glass Ratchet, which I need to make space for on the shelf. We've got Pip Boy from Fallout 4, uh, Pokemon Pinball, nice box. Pikmin, random bits and bobs. Uh, we've got some third party Transformers, um, not Transformers, third party transforming robots. That's not getting anybody, anybody in any trouble, uh, which make not a Leo Kaiser, but it does look very similar. Um, a shockwave, a sunstorm. My sunstorm's right annoying because he didn't come with eyes and his legs are knackered and it was the last one in the shop so we couldn't get it replaced. But it doesn't matter. It stands there, it looks alright. And up here we've got my masterpiece bots. Uh, predominantly bought by my brother. Uh, I said predominantly. I mean like the smoke screen and wheel jack which weren't and the rest was donations from, from the elder brother. Uh, yeah. And that's that. So, I mean, like, that's that's pretty much everything in my toy room. Um, apart from my, my manga and stuff, which is down there. I don't even know if you can see that. I'm holding the camera backwards. Blade of Heaven. Um, really, really good. Loads of initial D, like I said before. I'm going to go down to my front room, show the other little bits and bobs I've got. Just little littered. And... Yeah, and then that'll be that, I think. So, like, my gaming area is a little bit cluttered. I don't have a big fancy telly or like that. I do have some rubber frogs. Irrelevant, but I do have them. Uh, I've got a Dreamcast, um, a One X, PS4, uh, Switch, Switch Lite, and my DS. They're both Pokemon editions as well. Uh, can I do this one-handed? I have the world's worst carpet. I apologise. It is. It gives me a headache, but it really when I moved in, and that's how that works. So, I have, eh, you cannot get that on camera, can you? Jesus. There we go. So, Sword and Shield, Switch light, and pop that one. This one's a little bit easier to film because it's black with silver as opposed to silver with silver, because why not? There we go. I'll not get it out of the case because it's a lot of faff doing it one-handed. Uh, spare pad, stereo, Pokemon cards. Box of stuff, games, R type, amazing. Uh, more stuff over there. Uh, a box for me, Warhammer figures, which I've not put away yet. And we have Street Sharks uh, and Dinosaurs, technically. Same shit. Uh, a Stitch. I've got it, like I said, I've got a convention. So my TF Nation wristbands, which is Transformer Convention in UK, uh, they're, they're toys for my, tra for my Transformers. They're toys for. Um, my street shops. Uh, we got stitches and stitches. Bitches love stitches. And <laughs> Medibee and Medibee and Medibee because I'm oh, a massive Medibots fan. Rakusho, which is old and knackered, he's got a broken hole and his eyes have fell off. I lost his hand, but I, I'm going to keep it anyway. Random bits and bobs like Archer from Toy Soldiers and a shell turtle. I bought one of a kid and a little dinosaur snow globe and a Bulbasaur planter with no plant in it and a little Stegosaurus I think it's supposed to be and we've got a Transformers statue another one of my favourite things Digimon related as well, it's a gallant one ish, it's not its third party but they're not around no more so there's nobody really to tell off for it uh, it's absolutely amazing I bought it on sale as a bit of that off a whim and it's stunning uh, gold Charizard certificate of authenticity is in there as well because it's important with that sort of stuff. 
have another gift for me. And weirdly, like a gold Thomas the Tank Engine. Um, the, the Thomas the Tank Engine does have a reason. My my male name's James. Um, my elder brother, who was a massive Transfor Transformers fan, he is a massive Transformers fan. He was a massive Thomas fan. Um, he got the joys of naming me when I was a kid. So my middle name's James. I was a naughty train. Uh, that's where that comes from. So I've got a little gold Thomas just because you like Thomas. So Here we have a stack of mess, mostly games, like dot like some little bits and bobs, some PS1 games. I just buy stuff and dump it in the corner and then forget about it. Some Yo Kai Watch stuff, GameCube games, PS2 games. I do love a good PS2 collection. Um, Xbox, PS3 stuff. Sale. Um, what is that? Oh, yeah, Wii games, Xbox Ones, Switch, DS. Not all of them. I've got some stashed away. Um, and my PlayStation games. PlayStation is what I collect and play it most on. So I've got lots of like steel cases. Um, Final Fantasy, Yakuza games. Um, favorite series I think I've played in a long time. Persona. I've got a steel case for that up here in the um, Royale case. Oh, you come with all sorts of that collection edition. Uh, and yeah, so just like loads of random little bits and bobs of games. Uh, Battleborn, which flopped because of Overwatch. Agents of Mayhem, which isn't as good as it should be considering it's, it's, it's like Crack 9. Um, not, not, the, not my favourite one, but you know, it's good. Digimon games, because Digimon's very good. Uh, Skylanders, I've got Skylander other ones somewhere else. And then we've got Steel Tins, um, Fallout, and Doom, and Vanquish Bundle. Borderlands, Mortal Kombat 11, all steel bookcases. Yakuza Collector's Edition, Watch Dogs, um, Evil Within. Not mine, but, you know, it's a Twilight DVD. I've got to admit to it, you've seen it. Uh, Yokai Watch with Jim Banyan in it. Uh, Final Fantasy Collector's Edition. Z-Ring. Um, Portal for Skylanders. No Man's Sky Collector's Edition. Shiny Renaissance, never been out of its case. Final Fantasy 15, Steelbook, uh, Civilization, like a massive, weird sort of game for me. I, I quite enjoy it. It's good to lose yourself to. Uh, Tony Oaks, which oh, I didn't show you, skateboard. I've got board for that upstairs. I'll stick that on end. And yeah, and then just some little bits of that. Also, weirdest collection edition I own, uh, Ouija edition of Saints Row 4. So, I, uh, I did forget it. Sonic Socks. My, um, my Tony Oaks skateboard board. It's very nice. The only real thing I love to show is my artwork stuff. I've got like a little corner uh, to it. Um, there's some stuff I've not put up yet. There's some stuff. What the hell is going on with my hair? It looks like I've got a ball pack one side and not other. It's very grey. Um, artwork. So I, I like to get bits when I go out and stuff. So here we've got. Oh, well, it's all back to front. I'm gonna have to spin that round. So my art wall. I mean, like it's got. Lightning, that's from Collector's Edition of 13. Picked that up from TF Nation. It's Snoopy and, you know, but not Snoopy. I think it's just nice. The, the people that side of a friend stand of mine, um, he drew that. Uh, that's signed by uh, Greg, Greg Berger and Peter Stelos, the guys which do Grimlock and Skybikes um, voices. Pikachu, which I recently bumped into the guy who did that um, in London Market, and he I bought this, which is the Bulbasaur to go with it, which will be going on the wall at some point. Well, that was literally last weekend, and it takes me about four years to do out, so not a chance it's gone up yet. Uh, a boo, which was a gift from the guy who did that, but it was from my other half. She commissioned it, not realize, and he didn't realise it was for me. Weird, weird story. These two are from a, a young kid called Leo Shea, um Sheffield Comic Con. He did the, I bought the chunks off him and my partner had the Tentamon um, commission. Tentamon's my favorite Digimon. I like bugs. Uh, Medibee, Medibots. Uh, Medibee and Moby Lake, it is his name, I'm not being perverse. Um, all come from another artist. Um, oh, I'll, I'll tag in it once I've spoke to him and tell him I've made a video. Um, Mo, um, at Need for Speed. Like well, um, the two league, Medibee and Moby Lake. I had the Swap Cats one done. Um, on Medabots, um, all by the same guy. And the only other one I've got is this one, which was a Christmas present from one of my other brothers. 
Yeah, and I believe that's everything. Ish. Well, I mean, like, that's pretty much everything. I mean, like, I've got bits in boxes which I can't get to in my comics and uh, stuff, I suppose. Uh, I'm going to upload some gaming footage and do commentary on that stuff. I might even do some streaming. I haven't decided yet. That's something I need to look at. Uh, cheers if you've watched it all the way through. Sorry for the rambling. Uh, I'm trying to think if I've got else to show you. I didn't really show you my manga, but as I told you it was in there. Um, yeah, maybe next time we'll film the comics. I've got a few bits and bobs which I like. Uh, yeah, that's it. I'm going to chill now, have a coffee or something. I don't know. Peace.